Thank you very much. Uh, the next person is um, quickly will be Arrow Okay. Arrow Jr. Okay. You have Nandi Mobile here. Nothing come from your friend who may do PC. Nandi Mobile was in our Internet and Mobile Entrepreneurs Conference last year. You wow the people. I don't know where I can wow us today. I hope there are no new, new improvements in the software. So, <laughs> I did demonstration. Uh, no, not demonstration. Are you sure? <laughs> no, not demonstration. Um, so, good afternoon. My name is Edward uh, and I'm from the of Ghana. I'm not so recent a graduate though. My time we are still doing uh, cat calls, we didn't do Twitter and Facebook. <laughs> uh, so today I will present it to you, uh, Nandi Mobile. Uh, first of all, I want to talk briefly about um, the company and one particular product that we released uh, some months ago. And then the newest product uh, that we released this month. And then I'll take, take your questions probably together with the other members that presented. So Nandi Mobile. We're just a team of three people, three very young people. Uh, uh, fortunately, I'm the only one for Legon. Yeah, two weren't so fortunate. They went to tech. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the catch for the South Line is we are, we are very young people. And for me, I think we could probably encourage um, people like you to start uh, internet business, to start a uh, software company. It's possible in Ghana. Um, we are all below, I don't know, always. Forget this, this, this figure. I think we all lose 27. Next year, I, I can't say 27 again. You see, we all lose 28. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, next slide, please. So, our very first product was called Gripeline. Uh, basically, what Gripeline does is it enables you here to just make companies your friends. And you can chat with your friends. Uh, not like WhatsApp, but we use SMS. So, every company has an account. So, if you have a problem with you can sit here and probably ask Barclays a question about what is happening to your bank account. What's ECG? Why your data has been read? So that's what we do. We actually create accounts for businesses to receive these messages via a portal. They respond to you, and you receive by SMS, and you can reply to them by the same channel. So it's as simple as that. Um, with the users, you don't have to do any installation. You just do an SMS, and you precede the name, uh, you precede your SMS with the name of the of the, of the, of the company. Maybe that the company should give you their, 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 their account, because you can't send anything to them. This was launched a couple of months ago and it won us an award um, in February. It also won us an award locally um, some few weeks ago. The next thing I want to present is InfoLine. What this does is, actually okay, this was launched this month. What it does is it enables companies to upload their very important details online. It enables customers like you to access their details using your mobile phones. So people who can't have access to internet so that to go to whatever.com to get information. You can just do that using your mobile phones. So I wouldn't be doing any um, any demonstration. I will just show you what exactly it does using images. Uh, so what we do is we enable the company to upload their information to, uh, in the cloud and customers can just use SMS to get that information. So right now, um, right now as we stand here, you can actually text the word FIND to 1945 and you can find information about any business, not any business, we actually have 26,400 businesses uh, information online. If you want to get contact details of a particular company, directions or stuff like that, you can find them. Next slide. So that is what it does. You text the word FIND followed by the name of your company to 1945. And this is not a mental, mental rate that charges 50. Just start this pure water money, 10p. You don't have to be, you are, you are afraid of uh, your, 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 your charges. What we want to do in the next month is we should want you to be able to not just for names of companies, but services. So if you sit here, you want to buy furniture, you just take the word find furniture. And the system will, will give you a list of companies that offer that service together with your directions and contact details. You understand? This is what you'll be launching next month. You're actually thinking through the search algorithm, how many searches you should give you, and uh, depending on the relevance, which search should come first. I was with have launched it this month uh, together with uh, the business directory, but we will launch it next month. When we do, we will inform you. For the businesses, this is what we do. Businesses that have accounts with us or have our dashboard will be able to 
log in and create their own um, information so that when you search, you're able to get that particular information because we don't control the information. Aside that, we give businesses the, the opportunity to know what works are being searched for. So are shoes being searched for in July more? Are furniture being searched more? Are pieces being searched for more? So if RLT has an account with us and they realize that people are searching for Toshiba laptops more, we probably would be able to make a better business decision to know which, which of the products they should push out. So the businesses can get an analysis of who is searching for what and how many people are searching for their details. And represent them with the phone numbers of the people who are searching for their details so that they can get back to them. So you might probably receive a call, hello Mr. Noche, and we realize that on 23rd July you search for our details. Can we help you? Or they, they can probably send you an SMS and say, and we realize that you're searching for furniture. We provide furniture A, B, C, D. Would you want us to sell you one? So we don't only provide the value for you, the customers, we also provide the value for the businesses as well. And that's where we make our money from. That's why we don't really charge you, the end customers. We make our money from the, the bigger companies that would want an account from us. So um, uh, these are the benefits that the, the companies stand to gain. Uh, and this is just about it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for being such a nice audience. Now we take comments from the audience. We have got initial questions that we ask to all the different presenters. Yes, I know you set out to come to this year. Hello, thank you very much. I think I'm starting off again. Back with the M Commerce. M Commerce. Um, the gentleman there. Yeah. You were, when you were present, you said um, once you have some Java on your system, that's all. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very nice. But you see, for those of us from the remote areas, we don't have Java enabled phones. We only have the Nokia 3310. <laughs> and some of you don't use it. So that's what the Chinese phones are. But, you see, so these are some of the issues. We're developing the system, yes, but then can all of us afford them or not? So these are things I want you to um, look at. Then the companies that um, come for advertise, advertisement also, you mentioned that. How do you authenticate that, look, this guy is a genuine company that we need when we put the advert people go there and whatever service he or she is providing is legitimate. Yeah, so I think we need to clarify that. I, I think I'll echo, take all the questions and answer them once. I'll echo that because I think um, uh, one of the trading platforms, I think Google Trader, when it began, uh, started off very well in Ghana. Later on, we had some few comments from people that um, after you have located a person you are trying to buy it from, when you try to meet him, you try to meet him at the corner, by the time you realize, you sell the thing, you pay for it, and only to pass the next corner, they collect it from you. <laughs> so, and I remember I was making a presentation somewhere where I was saying that I think it's time for the insurance, maybe Kofi, in your group. Insurance company, one of them has to step in and become a mediator. We need a broker in, all, in every kind of tra electronic transaction. Somebody who takes the risk. Like eBay does it through PayPal. Somebody takes the risk and say that, Okay, for you to be able to sell anything above 10, um, 50 Ghana, I will come and do an insurance of maybe 30 Ghana. And I will take it, if anybody buys from you and he's defaulted and there's a default issue or there's an, an impasse, I will take up to 50 Ghana risk. That means that you can only sell items that will lie between 50 Ghana and below. Now, if you want a higher band of risk, you will pay higher band of risk. And now, the same thing, I was, actually, we have developed some models, so you and I, we have to talk about that. Because somebody has to take the risk. Whether it's an insurance company or a smart intermediary who will become like warehouse. <laughs> who will become the intermediary. We, somebody has to create the insurance to, um, system. And it's all over the world. In every payment system has an insurance system, online payment system. But I don't think we have that situated in Ghana yet. Everybody wants to be safe. Anyway. Um, so, Prof.
So thank you to everybody here, and especially those who presented. I must say, I'm actually very excited about what I've seen, although there are many issues that we, we could raise. I mean, there's somebody who talked about the mobile payments, and of course, I think the issue has been raised on whether we have the infrastructure. Um, again, let me mention something which is beyond all of you here. I suppose that tech people, we tend to think of the technology issues, and those are wonderful, but there are serious social issues or economic issues when you want to get into ECG or into water works and so on. They need all the things. That's why he mentioned something about, I think it was uh, AMA, which used handhelds to collect the revenue. And of course, all the revenue was getting to M AMA because they were doing the SMSs and everything. All the data gets there before you hand it in, so they know how much money you should bring. Of course, very soon the thing stopped working, so that <laughs> the money could go where they normally went. <laughs> So those are the real issues about technology. It's not the technology itself, but that's why I said I'm excited what we are doing, that you are using hardware and so on and so forth. On my part, I'm very excited by the CAM, uh, CMS, even though we use things like Joomla and Drupal and those kind of things. It's good to see things coming from here. So it's great with all your things. You need to go through some of the issues. For example, from a business perspective, immediately one thing that came to mind was cost. What is the cost of upgrading or evolving your meters? Why is it that the PLC didn't work? Because if PLC didn't work, I don't know how this other one is going to work, because that one is the internal thing. Again, for some of these people, they may need to outsource a lot of the issues, because if they are going to do it themselves, it will never happen. In my, well, where I get my money from, I deal with the public sector all the time. I with me, I do their training, I do this, so I know what's going on in there. So there are some serious issues over there, so I would always suggest outsourcing to lots of these people. So from what I've seen, this is very exciting, like I say, you need to answer another question, what is the cost of some of these things you're going to do? Of course, then maybe you need to look at the World Bank and so on, because Ghana, when we're importing meters, very often the ECG, uh, whoever, they can't do it. They go and get a World Bank loan and so on and so forth and do some of these things. So you have some exciting stuff over there, whether, is it Nandi Mobile? I don't know, they have some uh, meltwater connection and um, they were in Silicon Valley, they got some award and good money and that kind of thing. We are following all these things. But so for me, this is very exciting because I don't know, I say all the time, IT people don't know, or IT people don't know the importance of what they are doing. For me, Ghana going forward is not about cocoa, it's not about gold, uh, it's not about oil and gas either, that is the black gold. And I always query my students, is oil a blessing or is it a curse? And we have some serious arguments about that. And I'll, I'll go for the other side because I say, when we start, the flow meters are not working. Yeah. So you get the beat. Are you following they still want to use a dipstick like the old days. So there are some serious issues. If flow meters can't work with your technology work, those are some of the major issues. So, for example, I told you about free and open source software. The hardware is very important. I've seen demonstrations that keep on the good work of that. But coming to free and open source software, this, we have the theme for this year's Software Freedom Day to say the new cocoa mobile solutions. So I think you can guess that we are a lot of you over here. And I say, all I say is good work. Please check a lot of the stuff that you've done for some of the other issues. Thank you very much.